Donald Trump is currently splitting his time between the courtroom and the campaign trail. And CNN's Julia Benbrook joins us now. And Julia, many people are wondering if we're going to see a Trump-Biden face-off in a televised debate. We will see. I think that is still up in the air. Now, just recently, though, an unusual move by 12 major news organizations, and I should note here that CNN did sign on to this letter as well. They urged both President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump to commit to taking part in debates ahead of the general election. And in it, they noted that presidential debates have played a vital role in American politics. They said that it's too early to put out, you know, those official invitations for these debates, but that that it's not too early for these candidates who think that they will meet the threshold, that they will qualify to state that they are going to participate. So they're urging them to do so. As of right now, that first scheduled presidential commission debate is going to be in Texas on September 16th, and that's just 50 days before the presidential election. Now, Julia, Trump stayed off the debate stage during the primaries, but now his team seems to be changing course and they want more debates. That's right. It is a big switch from the primaries. During the primaries, Trump's opponents called on him regularly to debate, and he refused. In fact, he skipped all five GOP debates and sometimes participated in his own interviews or some other sort of counter-programming. But now they're calling on Biden to debate and to debate soon. In fact, they sent a letter saying that anytime, any place, that Trump is ready to debate Biden. Now, Biden has not said, he's not publicly committed to debating, but he also hasn't ruled it out. He was asked by reporters about this last month and he said that it will depend on Trump's behavior. Now Julia, both Trump and Biden have a lot on their plates. Can you give us a sense of their schedule this week? Well, right now, Biden is on day two of a three-day swing in Pennsylvania, making campaign stops there. That is no doubt going to be a very important state in November. Trump is actually on a break from the courtroom today. They take Wednesdays off in that hush money trial that he's facing there in New York, but they'll be back to jury selection tomorrow. Now, Trump has said that he'll spend his days in the courtroom and his evenings on the campaign trail. As of right now, the only campaign event listed on his website is for April 20th. That's going to be a Valley in North Carolina. All right, Julia Benbrook, thank you so very much. That's CNN's Julia Benbrook in Washington.